Hey, I'm Stephen Harrell from Tiny House Listings and today I'm going to show you the solar setup for the Tiny House Listings office. It's the most basic solar setup you can get and show you how you can install one for your tiny house. Stay tuned. The six solar panels that you see here are each 15 watts um, and they came from the Harbor Freight kit that you can get. A lot of times you, during the holidays you can get them for much cheaper and there's always 20% discount uh, coupons out there floating around. Um, each kit comes with the three solar panels, so a total of 45 watts. So there's one kit, and these three are the next. And I have them mounted to a dish network, uh, a dish ne I think it was Dish Network, or one of the satellite company um, poles that swivels. And then I built a frame made out of um, treated uh, two by fours. And then each kit comes with three, uh, let's see if I can let you see here. Each kit comes with three panels which are already wired right into the panel and it's very simple there's a little toggle here that connects that you connect all three into here then you can buy a hub if you have more than one kit from Harbor Freight it's like 15 bucks so you plug these three into here and then on this side as you can see you plug it has a three prong toggle as well and you plug that into here so you could add let's see one two three four five six more kits and they all each would plug into here and then from there um, this is the output and this right here is was going to take us over to the battery box and the inverter next. So following this wire, this will take us over to the battery box where we have um, in this box there is the inverter which charges from DC to AC power, which is makes it usable for lights and computers and all that stuff. And in this box, I have a charge controller, and I'll show you all that here in just a second. What you see here are just two marine battery uh, covers and all that does is protect your batteries from the element and all your electronic equipment. You'll usually see these in small boats where the battery is exposed to the elements and this just keeps it uh, out of the elements. The wire that came from the panels over here is goes directly into this charge controller and when you press this button here it can tell you the output. 12.6 volts is what we currently have. How much juice is in the battery? And, um, and so what this does, it makes sure that the battery does not get overcharged. And that's a good thing because you want your battery to last <laughs> as long as possible. And from here, um, the, the, the juice, I guess you could call it, goes into the marine battery. I have a marine battery and these is, this is what you want. You, can, you want something like this because if you try to use a car battery, it's used for really quick amounts of energy to start the car up. This right here is a trickle charge. And, and what happens is it slowly dissipates the energy over time and from these, these two wires right here what you see um, are coming from the charge controller and so that's this is the juice in and these two right here go to the inverter which you see here and here and that's the juice out so from here it goes from the solar panels to the charge controller and then from the charge controller to these right here and that's what powers the battery. And now to take our juice out, these two cables right here go into the inverter. And that, that, like I said before, that changes the energy from DC to AC and makes it usable for our, our electronics. And then the energy from the energy that goes out goes from here to you can't really see it underneath the office and back onto the other side, which I'll show you in a second. And on this side, this is the cable that came from underneath the. Um, the office and it just goes in through this door back here on the other side a lot of times um, if you have a tiny house there could be a breaker right here on the side of the office and this right here would would uh, connect to all your plugs and everything like that and you would just run your extension cable straight into that bat into that um, breaker and that would charge up your whole house but this is a very very simple primitive system and I'm just using an extension cord <laughs> And this is a cord that just came in from outside, the extension cord, and it runs into a surge protector. And you, you probably don't need a surge protector for a system like this, but I just use it. I already had this, and this allows you to have more plugs. So this, this uh, cord right here just goes over to this light up here, and this light right here, both of which are just 6-watt LED bulbs. And the system also charges the computer and the extra monitor that the tiny house listings office runs on. So the only thing running in here is the lights and the computer system. This 90 watt um, system is more than enough to power up what uh, my needs for here in the office. In your tiny house, you may find 
you'll probably find that you need a bigger uh, setup that could include more batteries or more powerful um, uh, panels but the idea is the same you just want to have a panel you want to have your panels to generate the electricity you want to have a charge controller to, to keep your batteries uh, in good condition and you want to have an inverter to char charge your um, to charge your energy from DC to AC so that's all just want to give you guys a quick tour Steven Harrell from Tiny House Listings see you on the next video thanks